Hey everyone and welcome back to Style by McKenz. Today I am going to be doing something a little bit different than my normal. As many of you know, my grandparents do live in Wisconsin and my sister and I usually travel up to see them. This year we are actually only going for 9 days, which is significantly shorter than we usually go. We typically go for about 14 to 15 days, but this year we are going for 10. Um, and usually the week that we are gone I like to do a travel series. This year is no different than those. I am going to be doing a bunch of travel posts as well, but rather than doing a what's in my carry-on, which I have done the last two years, I'm just going to be talking about the bag that I'm carrying on this year. I traveled with my size large navy long champ, and if I'm being honest with you, I'll probably bring my long champ this year as well, but probably just fold it up and in my suitcase so I can have a purse once I get to Wisconsin. But um, I will be traveling with a backpack, I used to travel with a Vera Bradley backpack before um, my backpack got all gross and then I decided that I was older now so I wanted to be cooler and wear a purse but in reality I really would prefer traveling with a backpack. You guys know that I'm a travel on partner and that I've been affiliated with them for a few months now um, and so they sent me this backpack a few months ago. I've already done a what's in my carry on with this. Um, backpack over spring break but today I'm just going to be talking about the bag why you need a travel on you know and just all the cool features about this bag so without further ado let's hop right in so this bag is called the anti-theft courier slim backpack and this retails for a hundred dollars I have it in the color um, navy I picked the blue they have it in blue and stone gray I am looking at my computer right here because um, I am on their site just because I want to be able to make sure that I hit all the points on what this backpack has to offer so definitely I have it in the navy the product description so this has two deep interior pockets for a laptop iPad or tablet plus two drop pockets for quick grab items plus two front zipper pockets one locking with two slash pockets for pens business cards or a calculator so let me just show you guys what that is actually like this first pocket is perfect for your laptop I do have a 13 inch MacBook Pro and it fits perfectly right in there um, as you can see like I just slid it in there it fits awesome there are two pockets so it can fit in this one as well I usually travel with a case on my laptop and I have traveled with a case on my laptop in this backpack and it worked perfectly fine so um, it fits either way especially um, if you don't have an Air I don't have a MacBook Air in mine still fits in there awesome so it has two pockets right there and then just a deep interior pocket as you can tell and then on the other side on the other side it has those two navy pockets that are pretty deep so I am going to try my best to show you guys the other side of the backpack um, I just have the laptop side folded over and sorry if I keep looking in the viewfinder it's because I want to make sure you can see there are two navy pockets they are um, I'd say eight inches deep so they're pretty deep for a um, pocket you can just put easily you can just put things there that you want to easily find definitely like your credit card your itinerary passport phone things like that and then there is a zipper pocket right here which is um, as deep as my hand so um, I really like that pocket as well. It's nice to have a zipper pocket in here, and I always think that that's useful. So that is all for the main pocket of it. Of course, these do have the locking zippers, which all travel-on bags tend to have. These just intertwine with one another. If you are traveling in a city, in a crowded area, out of the country, I definitely recommend a travel-on bag just solely for this purpose. The fact that the zippers do lock, no one can just easily get into your bag, which is really nice. Another reason why I will be using this at the airport, you never know what can happen, who's behind you. If you're leaving your bag overhead on the plane, it's nice to know that obviously someone can easily undo this but it's nice to know that it's not the first thing someone's going to do they're not going to expect that kind of security so i like to have it the other pocket is just again about the depth of my hand and this is just a zipper pocket again you can put easy to reach items in here i personally keep my electronics in here not like my electronics, I like to keep like my cords, my headphones, um, extra camera batteries, things like that just because it is the whole entire length of the backpack so it is a rather long pocket and like I said it is pretty deep so I think that it's an awesome pocket just to keep things in and then you don't have to bring like another little bag to put in here. I like, I hate bringing other bags, I just want to be able to have a backpack that organizes my things for me and this one is awesome for that. 
the last pocket is right here. It just zips down about halfway through the depth of the pocket. And um, this zipper pouch has two pockets right here. And then it has the little flashlight feature that all travel on bags come with. Just like a little flashlight so you can see inside your bag when you're opening your, um, key when you're looking for your keys, opening your door, things like that for safety purposes. And that just tucks right in there as well. And this pocket, it actually zippers down and clasps to the side of the backpack. Another reason why I do like to keep my um, cords and stuff in the middle pocket is just because this pocket does not lock. So no one's really going to take a cord, like who really wants your cord or extra camera battery. So that's why I think it's fine to keep those things in there. Nothing like I would be so upset about if I lost. The side pockets are perfect for keeping a water, things like that, and they do zip as well just to extend um, so you can fit more in them if you're carrying a bottle, something reusable, etc. And then the other one does not do that actually, it's just like a normal pocket. The whole entire backpack is padded. It does have adjustable shoulder straps, so you can make these as long as you would like. It also has the top handle for easy loading and unloading, as well as you can just carry it like this. One of my favorite things about traveling with this bag is that it's awesome if you are carrying your suitcase and then a backpack. If you don't want to carry your bag on your back, you can just put your um, suitcase straps up and then just, of course, use this strap to have it sitting on top of your luggage which is awesome especially if you're running through the airport I like to have that feature and that's what something and that's something that you just can't get when you're carrying a long champ or something which is why again I like carrying a backpack it's definitely more practical so like I said the travel on bag does fit a lot this basically carries everything that I need when I travel I do like to carry my laptop when I travel my cords for that my vlog camera um, my phone charger obviously a book my journal and um, sunglasses and then I do typically keep a makeup bag in my bag. Typically I can fit all of that in this backpack. I've traveled with this many times before. Like I said, I used it all over spring break and it worked great for me. I really liked this. Oh, also snacks. How could I forget? Snacks. And because there's so many different organization places for this, it's easy to keep my wall in this section, my electronics in this section, my laptop and a book in this section as well as food, like things like that. And of course water on the side. You can put anything else you need. So this is an awesome bag. Definitely really spacious. Awesome that you can fit your laptop in it and you know that this will be safe, especially because because of the locking zippers. The travel on bags are obviously meant for travel so this does have the slash resistant strap so no one can just come and cut your bag and take it off of you. It does have the RFID blocking slots and pockets which mean that no one can come and like scan your credit cards through your bag which is an awesome feature again like I said especially if you're traveling out of the country I know that that's a big worry for a lot of people. This bag does not have that which is awesome. So yeah that is all for this travel on courier backpack. I will leave the link to it below so you can shop it. It's definitely an awesome bag to travel with. I'm really excited to use this. Like I, I don't think I mentioned, like usually I do carry a suitcase and that I check and then my carry-on is usually my backpack. So again, like I said, I will bring my long champ in my just folded up in my suitcase because I probably will buy a few things while I'm there. You never know if you need the extra space. I do like to have a purse when I'm down there. So I just can carry that um, back home on the plane because you can't have two um, carry-ons. This isn't really a carry-on, but they count it as one. So yeah, this is definitely the carry-on that I will be choosing this summer. A backpack is awesome, keeps the weight off of your shoulder. It's not annoying, doesn't fall off. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and that you found this helpful. You liked this backpack. I will, of course, leave the link to it below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about Travel On, any of their other bags, I have used and loved many of their products. So if you have any questions about any of their other products, be sure to leave them below and I'd be happy to answer them. And yeah, that will be all for now. I really hope you guys enjoy. Safe travels to you if you are going somewhere soon. And be sure to check out the blog style by McKenz so you can keep up to date while I'm in Wisconsin. Thanks, guys. Bye.